Hi, this is Toby Wilsden, uh, editor of Demolition Hub magazine. We are media partners with the NFDC. I'm here today to talk to Holly Price, outgoing president of the NFDC. It's good to see you, Holly. Thanks, Toby. Nice to see you too. Good, good. So, um, you relishing your last few days as president? <laughs> Absolutely. As you can see, I'm ready for the AGM on Friday with my, with my banner behind me here. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of days of quite intense NFDC meetings to get through, um, that being National Council, and then, of course, welcoming the whole of the membership to another online AGM on Friday. So, yeah, almost there. Okay, and uh, is an AGM of a uh, large organisation such as the NFDC um, in general something to look forward to? Uh, usually, yes, we would usually be very much um, in celebrating mode um, and and obviously this year and last year had a, a little bit other ideas as far as that was concerned, but I'm sure we'll manage it one day um, and manage to get together all in a room instead of instead of over the airwaves. Absolutely, yes. We're all looking forward to that. So can you tell me a little about your path to the top of the NFDC? Yeah, absolutely. Well, actually becoming president of the NFDC is certainly not an overnight thing, Toby. It's, um, it does require a number of years to get there. And so I can't actually believe we're at the end, um, to be honest, of that, of that time. It feels, like, it feels like yesterday, but also at the same time, rather a long time ago when I first started to, to attend regional meetings on behalf of my employer, um, and, and then subsequent, which was in the Northeast region, and subsequently then in the London and Southern Counties region, uh, where I then went on to become Vice Chair of London and Southern Counties for two years, and Chairman for two years, and then, of course, then uh, you, you can put yourself forward to become, or, or get nominated to become the President, which is another six-year term after that, so it's been rather a long time. Um, it's a huge commitment, and uh, to be fair to everybody who has ever served as president of the NFDC, I think they would agree that that it is quite a journey. So, um, prior to starting on that journey, was it something you'd always envisaged? Well, certainly not always. I must admit, um, demolition engineering wasn't, you know, wasn't my first choice um, when I was thinking about a career. But um, ultimately, that's ended up what I was doing. Um, of course, as everybody knows, um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. And um, but actually, yeah, demolition is a is a, a rather eclectic um, industry, and and as such, it does keep people very interested. Um, I've always had a, a very much a soft spot for the NFDC because I think to have a federation that is so well tended by its membership, where there's so much passion around demolition, that passion obviously it, it does get exciting. But you know, it's. A, it's all in good faith and in good nature, really. We, um, we're there to make the industry a better place, Toby, at the end of the day. And, and it's a real good thing that there are so many people committed to doing that. Other than that, uh, what have been the highlights and, and lowlights of your term in office? Yeah, of course. Well, I think, well, as you said, Toby, I think the, the lowlights are fairly obvious in the sense that we're doing this virtually everything has happened virtually more or less albeit at the beginning of my term we did get to we did get to have a convention and it was it was lovely to connect with the members on a personal level or a number of the, the members on a personal level there um i think it has been disappointing to a degree that we've not been able to showcase a lot of the really good work that's been going on at the fed over this time i, th I think we're in a good place i'd like to think that that we've, we've got a strong plan um and and you know, I would I would like to think that we can I can hand over on Friday and and be happy that certainly for William as well, the incoming president, that he he will we're not leaving him in a in a bad place. He's got he's got plenty to um, support there to help him through the next couple of years. So, moving on from that, what does the future look like both for the NFDC and for you? Oh, thank you, Toby. I think we've, uh, as mentioned, we've, we've done a lot of strategizing and, and of course, health and safety is always going to be a huge focus um, for the demolition sector. So we've got some big plans there. I'm not going to disappear completely. Um, but nevertheless, of course, William will be will be holding the mantle from from here on. Um, the, the Federation is, is it, it really does go from strength to strength. We get a huge amount of recognition. 
um, in the wider construction sector, given the size of our, our part of that. Um, I think we definitely punch above our weight and, and let's hope that that can continue. I think from a personal level, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a break, Toby, to be honest with you, have a little bit of time out um, to regroup. But I say that, but actually things over at Kelp Bay are extremely busy as well. So there's certainly plenty for us to be doing. Finally, and... any message or words of wisdom you want to pass on to your successor? Oh, I think, I think William and I talk virtually daily. So I think, um, I think it's, it, you know, being the president of the Fed is tough at times. There's no two ways about it. Um, and, and it is a position that's highly coveted by many, many people. So we, um, you know, it's just enjoy it if you can, I would say, is the only, is the only thing that I'd really like to pass on. And, and obviously with a, um, I want to say, take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody, Howard, Leslie, Natalie, and all the other staff at Resurgent House, as well as all of the other officers from National Council um, for, for their support and the help throughout this period. And, and hope, and I'm sure as it will, but I'm, I hope that everybody, everybody moves on healthy and happy too. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Holly. It's been a pleasure and uh, wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you ever so much, Toby. Speak again.